So I have decided to have my baby. And I'm getting a little bit more excited by the way. So my mornings have became pretty much a routine. Get up, go to the toilet, throw up for a little bit, come back. Hi baby. So today I got you this little blanket. Oh my god, I look so fat. I got you this little blanket and I got you this little sock. <laughs> I got home today and I used the bathroom and I was kind of spotting some blood I was really scared and I just immediately like started crying just like started going crazy I just got like really scared you know because I don't know what I would do if I was to lose you I love you so much and I don't even know you yet we're actually redoing my room. Moving out of here. Moving out. Moving in to the other room. To have more space when you get here. I'm so excited. Oh my god. I literally cannot wait. Oh god, I'm so excited. I love you. So I am at the hospital right now because I just want to make sure everything's okay with you. Just, I got really scared, you know, after I started bleeding. I just want to make sure everything's okay. And my eyebrows are looking crazy. Oh my This way, no, 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 no. Are giving me a hard time here I am in the bathroom again throwing up what else is new oh my god you got me throwing up every fucking day gosh I feel like shit Saturday now and you know I'm making these videos for you to see when you're older you'll be three months one day I'm having a really hard day just I've been feeling really emotional but you know just right now reading about you and how fast you're growing, how big you've gotten. <laughs> it fills me with so much emotion. <sighs> Just to know <laughs> that I'm gonna be your mom it keeps me so strong. <laughs> and it just gives me so much strength, you know? So much strength to, you know, keep going. I just fight for you because I'm feeling really down. <sighs> just knowing that I'm gonna have you in my arms it makes me feel a lot better. And I just want to say that I love you so much. I don't know if you're a boy. I don't know if you're a girl. I don't really know anything. But I just everything you're putting me through because it hasn't been easy it's gonna be so worth it i love you so much you're my strength you're my new motivation you know i promise to be the best mother i ever could be <laughs> I'm still in my car, I've been on the phone. 
die. So I just like want to take all the proof. So you know I'm not lying. Look, I just dropped you off. This is the test you just peed on, bitch. Look, I had it in my pocket the whole time. And I just got home. Oh, I just felt a kick. It was like, like little bubble, like. So we're on our way. Well, first we're gonna go get gas, but we're on our way to Party City to go get like gender reveal things and like look at like ideas and like little party favors. And we could go look at some cameras. And then we're also gonna go look at like some cameras. is like your fourth fourth or fifth I'm not sure so over here comes in I painted and it lost an eye it was in a war battle it was in a war battle the pumpkin lost an eye so I have an eyeless pumpkin be lucky you have a pumpkin at all so my pumpkin wasn't exactly the most <laughs> There was a little, um, there was a little change in creative direction. So here is a garden representing the Garden of Eden. Um, <laughs> the Garden of Eden. Um, where Adam and Eve ruined everything for everyone. And th there's a cute little butterfly here. There's the snake. And here oh are some... <laughs> Here are some cloud. Well, this is a cloud. Big. And here are some you put flowers. Put a worm on my. So you will be six months, two days. Tomorrow is your gender review. I will find out if you are a boy or a girl. That's so exciting. I've done so much to make this very special. I hope one day you can see these videos and just see how special I try to make it to celebrate you. I love you.
loving someone else on my belly. You are getting huge. You're getting so big. You just kicked the shit out of me. Like you just kicked like oh my Oh my god. You like you like going crazy in there. Literally. No literally you're like kicking my life. Like you're like You're like kicking me super hard. Hey so I am 26 weeks pregnant with you. I'm having kind of a hard time now. You're so big. I can see you move through your through my dress. So like strong. You kick and like I shake. I'm like Oh my god, you're like dancing. Ah! May this be the first of many, 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 many Christmases together. You're my biggest blessing, I'm yes, I love you. This is the farm where I grew up. I came here every day when I was little. And here I am now, 19, expecting a baby. When's the next time I'll be here? I mean, hopefully it's next year. The next time I'll be here, I'll be here with you. And I feel so blessed. That I have had the opportunity to visit back home once again.
parents are about to see each other for the first time. 15 years. To the vehicle! Yeah. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, okay. Yeah, I need to die now. What's that? It's a big one. What's that? Good. Good, my vieja. Igual. Ah, igual me estás creyendo que estoy bien. Oh my god. Y te está grabando. Solo quería grabar la reacción. So what I'm going to be doing today, well, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make is patsicles. Right now, I'm currently 36 weeks pregnant and I've been reading a lot and a lot of moms have said that, you know, patsicles help them. So you want to start off, you know, putting the witch hazel. Pretty much a good amount. I did half a low vera and half the witch hazel, which looks pretty good. 
Now what you want to do is you want to get your maxi pad. And like this. And you don't want to remove it from here. So you're just going to place it down. And then make sure your hands are clean too. And then you're going to take it off. And open it up. Like that. You're going to open it up. What you're going to do is you're just going to spray. So you just want to spray it down. So I'm officially nine months today. And this is how you're looking. I'm excited. I'm excited to meet you. I'm excited to hold you in my arms. It's a little bittersweet because I love being pregnant and I love feeling your movements and everything that comes with it, you know? Yeah, it's hard, but I love it. I love it and I love being your mother, but I'm gonna love you more when you're born. And I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm really, really, really excited to meet you. And it's just so crazy, you know? These nine months flew by so quick. It feels like just yesterday I was in Boston and it was the 4th of July. And I remember watching the fireworks. And I left everybody to go get the car. But really, I had left everyone so I could go to CVS and get a pregnancy test. And I went, I bought it, and when I got to the house, I took it, but I already knew what was gonna come out or else I wouldn't be taking one I found that I was pregnant and it feels like it was just yesterday it feels like it was just yesterday the beginning of my pregnancy was very hard for me but it flew by it flew by like so quick I thought it was the end of the world and it wasn't because look here we are And you're ready to be born. All you do is move. Today, you've been crazy. <laughs> you've been in my rib. That's all you do now. Just love sticking your feet in my ribs. I mean, I'm so excited to bring you into this world. So excited to teach you everything and just guide you along life. It's just very crazy because I'm now nine months, you know? So, a month from today, or before, hopefully from today, <laughs> you will be here. A month from today, you will be here, and I will be holding you in my arms. I'm now the person that you depend on for everything, and I couldn't be lucky, because I don't know you, I don't, well, I know you, I know your sleeping schedule, <laughs> but... I haven't met you, I haven't seen you, I haven't felt you physically, I haven't heard you, but you're already the person that I love the most in this world. There's nobody, nothing that I love more in this world than you. And I'm so lucky to be your mom. I love you so much, I'm yes. I'll see you later.
your baby shower just passed and i am so happy that it's over this was very stressful look at me nine months pregnant with you and i did everything i love you so much and this is what i do for you baby soon man soon you'll be here three weeks shit oh my god you're due in three weeks i mean that's, that's pretty crazy you know no no it's like really really hitting me you know and i'm so nervous Today is February 26th, 38 weeks, and it's only two more weeks till you get here. I'm so excited. I'm so nervous, but oh man, I can't wait to meet you and me. Yes. So I'm going to soak on my feet because they're pretty swollen. Here you are. I'm so happy because he calls himself <laughs> 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 entertainment whatever and it was a man and his wife they they put on a very good show what happened was that somebody stole all his money I mean, he has his... harvey blanco <laughs> stole all his money out of his Babe, that should be his name i mean as harvey i mean as harvey blanco that's not bad do you hear this man Babe. anyway Somebody stole all his money out of his pocket and we felt really bad. We felt really, really bad. Felt extremely bad. You know, this was happening to this man. I mean, he nobody deserves that. You know, I've had money stolen from me. Long story short, your father gave him the money. He went up to him and he gave him $500. The man was so in shock, like he couldn't believe it. You're coming soon, and we know that we have so many blessings our way. It's 12.09, so you'll be here in eight days. Eight more days, boy. And I wanted to share this with you because you have an amazing father. We're so lucky to have the father you do have. And I love you so much, and well, we love you so much. Very much. We love you so much. Can't wait till you're here. And everything we're doing is for you. Yes, sir. Everything we're doing is for you. It didn't work out for them. $250 for a rose. You mad? Wait, oh, that's Maybe it'll be lower than that. Yeah, a year ago, my life was very different. How? A year ago. How? I was working a lot. I 
I was right. in a very... That's not necessarily a bad thing, though. It wasn't. Working hard is a good thing. I've been that paper. But it was just very attached. It was stressful. I mean, at least you're not having a kid by the age of 30. No, you're fine, yeah, man. Yeah, that's true. I wanted to wait till 30, man. Is that good? Yeah, to have least, I wanted to wait till 30. Yeah, me too. I wanted to wait till 25. No, I wanted to have kids at 30. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody's like, what? Your eggs are dried he out by then. He missed it by three years. He missed so. it by 10. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody tells me I got no pull out game, but my pull out game lasted about that. Not Bro. Guys, okay, we're gonna. This is story time for Peter now. Look it. His pull out game was strong until I told him to come in me. I really thought I couldn't get pregnant. She thought she couldn't get pregnant. I'm dead ass. Doctor Kazai used to be like, your chances of burning pregnant are really low. Doctor Kazai clearly is not a good doctor, but he didn't give her any birth control. Word, that is true. Look it. Melvin, don't you think, right, if I was really planning this, you guys know how stressful and how long it took me to be like, I'm going to keep the baby. If it was a, if it was something planned, I would have been like, I fuck you, fuck what do you think, and that's it. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How was your life a year ago? Stress free. Yeah, I did what the fuck I wanted. Last year I was like, I was a dumbass. Why? You know how much shit I could have done last year? How much time I had in my hands last year? You guys, like our lives are not over. I hope you guys know that. Well, my life ain't over. No, my life is not over either. I'm telling him, like, when he your life isn't over. over. And how do I put on the flash? Okay. Me and your mama. This is you right now in her tummy. This is your little cousin oh, in here. Picture here. I like this. We out. So we are at your last appointment. Came a long way, Amia. Amia? We have one week left. Nothing? <laughs> you pick it up then when you come part, right? One week okay. left. ¿Qué pasa, yeah. I feel like you might come sooner. I don't care. I can't wait to meet you, baby. I love you. So I'm having pretty mild Braxton Hicks cramps, whatever. They're getting really uncomfortable. I'm having a lot of back pain. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the 12, but I'm just really hoping to make it. Baby, wait one more week. Please give your mom one week. I love you so much, and I can't wait to have you in my arms. I'm definitely feeling the pain. So it's 2 a.m. in the morning. I was woken up with cramps. I just lost my mucus plug. And I'm having really, really strong cramps. I don't think we're gonna make it to even doing it. Oh, but I'm in a lot of pain. I just can't. I'm sorry, I'm laying down. Come on, baby, give me a week. So. It's five in the morning and I'm in a lot of pain, Amias. I think you're coming. I think you may be coming. I love you so much. I love you so much and I think you're gonna be coming soon. <laughs> I feel so my love.